Trucker Todd here and time for another video. All right, folks, about a year ago, I did a video on tire socks. They are an alternative to tire chains. They don't work in every situation. Uh, you know, if you're in a heavy duty application or if you're one of these guys that's having to chain up multiple times a week, they're probably not the answer for you. You probably want to get regular chains. But if you're like me, I've had them over a year and I've used them three times now. And I thought it would be good to do a follow-up video and tell you guys um, durability wise how they last. Now those of you that use chains, you know those can break, those can wear out. And obviously with these tire socks being made of a cloth material, they can break and wear out over time. Now if you look at the packaging, it will say the recommended speed is around 20 miles an hour. If you ask good old Google, it'll tell you 25 to 30. I'm going to recommend that you follow uh, manufacturer recommendations, although I will tell you, even on this last trip, I traveled about three miles and I was doing well over the recommended speed of 20 miles an hour. Um, but it, as I said, I'm always on these videos going to recommend that you follow the manufacturer's recommendations. They made these tire socks, not me, and they know what's best for them. All right, so we're going to jump right into this video. But before we do, uh, give me a thumbs up. Share this social, this media, <laughs> share this video on your social media platforms and make sure you're subscribed. Also, look down in the description below for a lot of other great information. All right, let's not waste any time. Here we go. This is why I do this, why I'm out here, why I keep that hammer down. Flying by these road signs, with home on my mind, with these wheels turning round. For my family and for my kids, for this life I want to live. And this is why I do this. Okay, I finally got out of bad weather and I was about to put these things back in the bag. I decided this would be a perfect time to show you the wear on these. You can see they're still in really great condition. These are the ones for the trailer. Got two that I put, you know, one on each side for the super single trailers in the back. So that uh, I've got drag, what they used to call drag chains. Then if you come up here to the truck, I've got enough for both drive axles you can see it's still in pretty good shape there is some uh, what I'd call feathering starting so somewhere down the line I'm sure I'll have to replace them but you guys have to replace chains too same thing with this one you're gonna see some feathering but nothing real bad still in really good condition and then uh, here's the other one this one I don't know what this material is, but it dries really, really quick, and uh, it's pretty durable. It sticks to the road real well, and so I still continue to be amazed and pleased with uh, how these tire socks have done so well. A lot of people ask me how they work, and I tell them, think of a hairnet. See that, or a hairnet. See that black elastic? You just throw it over the tire, pull up a little bit, Put the rest of it on the tire and then it self adjusts as you're going down the road but it's cold out here so i'm gonna hop back inside and we'll finish this video okay i hope you can hear me uh i'm having to idle the truck because it's super hot here but uh all i want to say in closing on those uh tire socks a lot of guys have asked me uh several things what do they cost i think for two drive axles and one trailer axle I paid a little over 600 I'm going to include a link to the video below that I first did on these tire socks and I'll say the actual cost in there. But like I said, I did that video about a year ago and I don't remember the exact numbers. Uh, the other question I get asked a lot is, given what I know now, would I buy those tire socks again? And my answer to that would be absolutely, without a doubt, um, especially if you might use them once or twice a year or if you just want them so you can run in the states that have a chain law but you'd never plan on using them 
Um, if I damaged one, would I replace it and keep using them? Absolutely. Uh, just like tire chains, tire chains can break, and when they break, they slap your truck and do damage oftentimes. I've heard of fuel tanks being punctured. Uh, if you have an aerodynamics package like I do, sometimes it'll rip those off. So uh, there's obviously pros and cons to both. Obviously, since these are cloth, if they broke, they'd do a lot less damage to your truck. Also, you don't need a, uh, a chain rack or nothing that's going to get dirty and messy. These are a lot cleaner to install and to remove. And so, yeah, even if I tore them up, I would uh, just buy replacements and keep going. The, I've made, no exaggerations, thousands of dollars off of these tire socks. Just being able to run in states that I would be prohibited in running for almost half the year. And so... Uh, I definitely recommend them. I'm sorry this video is shorter than what you guys are accustomed to, but uh, make sure you're subscribed because next week we're going to jump into this Peterbilt. We're going to talk about some of the safety features on here, things I like, things I don't like, and then uh, later in the week we're going to do a side-by-side -side comparison of the 2019 Kenworth T680 I had versus this 2022 Peterbilt. Uh, the Kenworth had a pack car. This has a Cummins. I'll tell you what I liked and disliked about each of them. And that's all pending. That nothing else comes up prior to that that we need to talk about first. So, you guys have a great weekend, and we'll see you on Monday. Y'all take care. Bye-bye.